when two quantum particles interact, they become entangled. They are correlated such that measuring the state of one of the particles enables us to know the state of the other with 100% certainty, even if we don't measure it, no matter the distance. In 2016, Chinese researchers used quantum entanglement to teleport information from an observatory in Tibet to a satellite orbiting the Earth at over 1,000 kilometers from the surface. They sent millions of photons entangled with those in the observatory via an uplink. Only 911 of them were received by the satellite, called Messius. These photons were used to conduct the trial, which set the record for the highest recorded distance between two entangled particles and the first time quantum information was teleported to space. But how did they do it though? Quantum particles like electrons, for example, have properties. We are going to look at one called spin. There are two spin states, spin up and spin down. When no one's looking, the electron is in a mix of both spin states. This is called a superposition. But when someone looks, it's forced to choose one state. Similarly, both of the entangled electrons are in a state of superposition, and the outcomes of their spin states are random, with a probability of 50-50 for spin up and spin down. But when we measure them, we see that the outcomes although random, are correlated. Meaning, if electron A had 50-50 of spin up or down, electron B would be 50-50 of spin down or up. And that's correlation. In the trial, the photons, which are also quantum particles, were in a superposition of states too. But in this case, polarization was the property. The researchers at the observatory ran operations on the photon and a qubit, thus altering the state of the photon in space. Measurements on it were able to predict the state of the qubit. But the state of the qubit on Earth would be altered. This is because quantum information cannot be copied and pasted. It can only be cut and pasted. If changing the state of one of the photons changes its entangled counterpart state, does that mean they are communicating faster than the speed of light? According to the violation of Bell's theorem and the theory of relativity, no. The photons aren't really communicating. They are coordinating. This study was a big deal because one, it was the first time and two, can you believe that information was sent without actually transmitting it through space? And three, it creates the possibility for communication without somebody being able to eavesdrop. Anyone interfering would alert the users and they wouldn't be able to know what the message is because they don't have one of the entangled particles. But hey, one day we could have a quantum internet all thanks to the spooky action between these little guys.